Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was born under the name Ferdinand Louis Alcindor Jr. in New York City. His parents were Ferdinand Louis Alcindor Sr. and Cora Lillian. He was an only child and attended Education Power Memorial Academy, which was a Catholic school in Manhattan. He played for the basketball team there and won three championships. He also set a New York scoring record, which earned him the nickname the Tower from Power. Throughout his life, he was constantly made fun of because of his race or his height. When he was younger, he was often the only African American in his class. He was, all, he was teased because of his height, which was six foot eight by the time he was only in eighth grade. Later in his life, during his NBA career, he converted religions and became a Muslim. Many religions that were looked at as unpopular or unfamiliar, such as this one, were not widely accepted during that time, which made many people look down and criticize him. He played for many basketball teams during his life, from high school to the UCLA Bruins to the Milwaukee Bucks and Los Angeles Lakers. Every time he joined a team, they were victorious. He led his high school team to three championships, college team to three championships, and both NBA teams to six championships altogether. He always impacted his teams for the better and did other things such as using new moves in the NBA. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is often called the best or one of the best NBA players of all time. He set several records for all of his teams and the NBA. He brought many new moves to the game and many people have tried to mimic his play. UCLA, the Milwaukee Bucks, and the Los Angeles Lakers have retired his jersey number, which was number 33. He was placed in the Hall of Fame and was also celebrated with a statue of him at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. For my deliverable, I made a digital poster. My poster depicts my hero's life because it contains several pictures of my hero and events in his life. It also contains several important facts and details about him, as well as a video of him playing basketball. Here it is. Here you can see a video of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar playing basketball. Here you can see Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's statue, Kareem getting drafted, and Kareem playing against Michael Jordan. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was an American basketball player. He played for the Milwaukee Bucks and the Los Angeles Lakers. He won six NBA championships and was a 19-time All-Star. He was put in the Hall of Fame and there's a statue of him in the Staples Center, as you can see to the left. During 1971, he converted religions and became a Muslim. and That changed his name, making it Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Many people frowned upon him for doing this because it was looked at as an unpopular religion. Even though many people thought badly of him, he didn't let it bother him and continued to do great things and become successful. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar played for many teams during his career, but always impacted them for the better. He also impacted the NBA by bringing new moves to the game. Another thing he impacted was people's lives. He proved that no matter what challenges you face, you can always fight through them and achieve greatness. He will always be remembered for his basketball skills and hopefully now his heroism. He did many things that others were afraid to attempt and inspired many people with his story. He also is a great role model and inspiration for everybody. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has inspired me because of his heroic traits. Throughout his life, he faced many challenges, but always stayed determined and worked hard to become successful. He also taught me that if you're different, it doesn't matter, and that hard work and determination can help you achieve what you want. He also showed me, and many others, that no matter what challenges you face, you can always overcome them if you try hard enough. I learned that you have to have many different traits to be a hero. Some of these are you must be brave, loyal, courageous, determined, hardworking, and many other things. Another thing I learned is that you don't have to have superpowers or save the world to be a hero. Anybody can truly be a hero if they do the right things and always have good intentions. Thanks for watching my presentation on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar.